These dust storms are huge. They can cover the entire planet. And they can last for months. Dust devil. Dust devil. Dust devil. Dust devils. When it comes to weather anomalies, Earth and Mars both have their unique ones. And one of the more fascinating similarities is the presence of dust devils. Dust devils that can be seen clearly in subsequent footage. How they list dust so easily uh, into the atmosphere for the Earth. They are basically swirling, dusty whirlwinds that leave their mark on both worlds. But dust devils on Earth and Mars are far from similar. In this video, we will go over some shocking footage released by NASA that reveals why they earned this name. Stick around to see how they compare on our planet versus Mars and to more well-known tornadoes. Dust devils are similar to, but not quite like tornadoes, at least on Earth, that is. These whirlwinds typically make their appearances on hot summer afternoons. Dust devils are influenced by dry weather and the heat, which is totally opposite to other weather conditions like tornadoes and hurricanes. They don't just appear randomly, they have a somewhat regular schedule. High-resolution simulations show that they form in the planetary boundary layer, where warm air rises and cool air descends. They gather at the corners where the air masses meet. This pattern results in a characteristic spacing of dust devils, which can sometimes be observed in pressure records. These appearances are a common feature both on Earth and Mars, but on Mars, dust devils are more prominent than on Earth. Dust devils on Mars can even be bigger or, or longer lasting or taller than they are on Earth. And play a significant role in the planet's system, but more on that later. Dust devils come in various sizes, but on Earth, they usually span from just a few meters to tens of meters in diameter. However, their height can be anywhere from 5 to 20 times their diameter. Measuring the intensity of dust devils involves looking at the pressure changes they create. On both Earth and Mars, a significant dip in pressure is a sign that one of these whirlwinds is about to appear. Dust devils leave behind various signs that help scientists identify and study them. Besides pressure, dust devils on both planets produce infrared emissions and electric fields due to charged dust particles. They're relatively small on Earth and form on hot, sunny days when the ground heats up. As the ground becomes hotter than the air, the air rises, creating an updraft. When this rising air starts to rotate, it can pick up debris, forming a dust devil. These vortices also pick up dust and sand, which can lead to the production of atmospheric oxidants, like ozone. This may be crucial in understanding the destruction of methane and other organic compounds, particularly on Mars. However, analyzing this data on another planet planet is a completely different job with different systems and deciding factors. Stick to the end of the video to see actual footage of a dust devil on Mars captured by NASA. On day 215 of the mission, we recorded the sound of a dust devil passing over the rover. Dust devils and tornadoes both involve swirling winds, but they differ significantly in terms of their size, formation, intensity, and location. The pressure drop caused by dust devils is much less pronounced compared to the intense pressure drop seen in tornadoes and hurricanes on Earth. In the most extreme cases, the pressure drop in dust devils can reach 1 to 2 percent of the ambient pressure, while tornadoes and hurricanes experience much more substantial pressure drops, ranging from 10 to 20 percent. On the other hand, tornadoes are much larger and more powerful than dust devils. They form within severe thunderstorms, which develop when a combination of atmospheric conditions creates a rotating column of air that extends from the thunderstorm down to the ground. Tornadoes can vary widely in size, but they are much larger than dust devils. The most powerful tornadoes can have diameters exceeding 3,000 feet and heights reaching several miles. Tornado was carrying trucks like that. I think uh, tornadoes are the scariest shit. Other differing factors are locations where they appear and how long they last. Tornadoes form when warm, humid air collides with dense and dry cold air. They also last much longer than dust devils. But as Mars Mars is a dry planet, there are no tornadoes there. This is why dust devils have a much more prominent role on the red planet, and also why they differ from the ones on Earth. Experts thought that this commotion would make exploring Mars more difficult, but for Mars rovers like Spirit, Opportunity, and Perseverance, dust devils are unexpected allies. They help clear accumulated dust from the solar panels, clearing their power supply. This clearing effect is particularly noticeable during the peak of solar heating on Mars once every few hundred days. The cleaning provided by these whirlwinds has 
extended the operational lifespan of Martian rovers far beyond their expected mission durations. They can also sometimes clear the path and make points of interest easier to access. Mars landers have another reason to appreciate dust devils. They create low-pressure systems, and their weight can be quite significant. Mars seismometers can pick up the subtle tilting of the ground caused by this negative load. This allows scientists to study the surface stiffness of Mars, providing valuable insights into its geology. And this dust devil caught by NASA might be the most unusual so far. While they share some common characteristics, dust devils on the two planets also have differences due to the unique environmental conditions on each planet. Martian dust devils are approximately at least three times as large as their earthly counterparts. The primary reason for this size difference is the depth of the planetary boundary layer, PBL, which is deeper on Mars. This layer is where the atmosphere closest to the ground can mix freely, influencing the size and behavior of the devils. They are also more critical on Mars. Approximately 30% of the dust suspended in the Martian atmosphere is put there by dust devils. This dust plays a vital role in regulating the Martian atmosphere's ability to hold water vapor, affecting the exchange between the atmosphere and polar caps. Additionally, dust devils on Mars help expose darker sands beneath the bright red dust as they ransack the surface. This charge can have a notable impact on the local Martian climate. As they move across the barren terrain, they pick up and carry particles, helping to redistribute them across the planet. This movement is an essential part of Mars's changing environment. Recently, NASA's Perseverance Mars rover caught quite a sight. The rover was about 2.5 miles away from the dust devil when it caught the twister. It was day 899 of Perseverance exploring the Martian terrain. Using one of its nav cams, the rover captured a sequence of 21 images, each of them four seconds apart. When these images are stitched together and sped up about 20 times, they revealed the movement of the dust devil. These incredible images are crucial for examining Mars. The mission scientists from NASA examined them and concluded that the dust devil was cruising along the western rim of Mars' Jezero crater. But what's most fascinating is its size. This dust devil was nearly 200 feet wide, and although we couldn't see its entire height, scientists estimate it to be over a mile high. This is much larger than they previously thought dust devils could reach. Mark Lemon, a planetary scientist from the Space Science Institute in Boulder, Colorado, and a member of the Perseverance Science Team, said that it's much larger than in the photo because we don't see the top of the dust devil, and we have to look at the shadow to approximate its height. Most are vertical columns, and if this dust devil was configured that way, it would be 1.2 miles in height. Scientists still have a lot to learn about these Martian dust devils. They are working to understand the conditions that lead to their formation and to predict when and where they might appear on the Martian surface. What do you think about this footage? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.